All right, you guys. Elias Tor. I can't really remember uh, where we're at here. Like where Belias Tor is. What this fight's gonna be like. But I'm ready. Let's let's move forward. Oh, cell sword. You there? We've no quarrel with you. Leastwise, not yet. Our quarrel lies with Mustadio. Give him over and be on your way. Damn, why do they want him? I'm guessing this is the Barrett Trading Company? Uh, or mercenaries working for him? Our way is his. If you wish no quarrel, I advise you withdraw. And when you next see Ludovic, remind him that those who live by deceit are first to die by it. Pity. We'll have the boy by force then. Oh man. Defeat all enemies. Easy. Okay, so in this fight, you guys are going to see a class for the first time. Goes for the arm shot, misses again. Percival. That's a great name. I would name my guy Parcival, to be honest. 75 damage is crazy. That's crazy. Oh my god, they're trying to murder her right there. Dude. How many helmets are gonna get broken? <laughs> I wanna take them on right now. How's the battlefield look? Okay, we got summoners on two sides. They're pretty low HP, but they're also really far. Mm, in case she runs away, I, mean, I am gonna push pretty aggressively here. Okay, I can't stop these guys, unfortunately. Hmm. Is there anything I can do to save her? No. She's gonna take like a hundred something damage right now. Unless I can have Lambert tank for her. Ooh. Okay, Wyman I'm gonna have to be careful with. I don't wanna put him too much in harm's way. But I also wanna get this three part hit here. Bandaga. Oh my goodness. 120 damage. I misclicked. Oops. What's your name? Silphy? Oh no. What are you doing? <gasps> Wyman got his spell off first. Oh my goodness. Easy. Aim plus four and Lambert takes the shot. Glacial shards? So this is a summoner. Say hello to her first summoning. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. Oh no, I forgot to give her job points up. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's one battle. It's not gonna make that big of a difference, I think. Okay, plus 70 HP. Get her, Ramza. Wow, you have really good movement. <gasps> A crit? Oh, easy. Oh my goodness. Dude. What's up, buddy? Another Sundaga. Can I kill you? I can't. I will take that. Thank you. Okay, I might kill myself. That's okay. It'll be worth it. I hope. Oh! That's damage. 
Oh, wow. Dude, mages are so strong. Okay, he's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that ended pretty quickly. Why do they pursue you? Will you not tell us, even now? Pray understand, I cannot tell you yet. Not yet. Da, 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 da. Yay, 7,400 gil plus a thousand. Sick. I mean, what's the point though? Like, you could just give me the 8,000 and then, like, a cool item. Where is the. What? I missed that. Dysodar. Our little mockingbird has taken wing, Gafgarian, and it leaves me rough. We cannot have her free. Catch her. Crush her and make silent her song. Lady Agrius's and the others as well? Including your brother? And Ramza? The fool. He soils our name. Dogs me every move. Yo, you're getting outplayed by Ramza. Let's go. I thought this a I thought this a chance to let him learn the harsh truths of the world. But the boy is too stubborn. Too much of his father's penchant for justice, that one. Father coddled the boy too much. If he stands aside, more the better. Should he interfere, there's not can be done. Wow. And you, his brother, the blood curdles. If the cardinal moves to defend the Mockingbird, what then? Duke Larg himself could not reach them in umbrage of the church's wing. So there's like so many players in this. There's Duke Larg, who is of royalty. There's Duke Goltana. Um, Duke Larg is the brother of the queen, but Duke Goltana is, I think he's a noble. But he has like the backing of all the other nobles. Plus some other royal people, I guess. And then there's the church. Worry not, the poten that potentiality has been addressed. Wait, what does he mean? Every three steps ahead. You are a frightening man, Dysodar Beol. Truly. Would it not be prudent, then, to better guard your tongue? There are so many frightening ways to silence a bothersome one. Come now, my lord. I'm your ever-faithful man. And not near so stubborn as a particular knight devout, if I might be so bold. Be bold, but let there be no more missteps. So stubborn as a particular knight devout? Hmm. There's a clue for you guys. On the matter of missteps, what buffoon did you charge with the princess's kidnapping? We were beset in Dorder as we gave chase. Not quite how we discussed. I'm sure you would agree. Wait a minute. That dude in the purple robes is with the church. The men I sent were found dead in the woods near the monastery. Yo, the dude in the purple robes killed Dysodarg's men? Is that what happened? And then he hired those guys to attack us as we chased. Someone has caught wind of our plan and seems intent on disrupting it. No matter, as long as Ovila remains with Lady Agrius, we will have chance enough to steal back our prize. Yeah, cause Lady Agrius is a badass. She'll, she'll protect her. I pray you're right for both our sakes. Okay. Wow. Sick. Let's read about Belias tour. The location where Belias, first of St. Ajora's disciples, was put to death by the Holy Yadoran Empire. I don't, I don't know what Yadoran Empire is. All right, what's up ladies and gents? Now that we're done with 
Belias Tor. We can now finally go to Lionel Castle. All right, let's double check our roster, our equipment, our abilities, job points, everything. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, I gotta replace that freaking helmet. I'm down to my bronze helmet, you guys. That's how bad this is getting. I'm down to my bronze helmet. I got a, a red hood would be better than a bronze helmet. Oh, a headgear would be nice too, actually. Okay. I believe I can only have like three, four people max. So, whoever has headgear and probably is not going to be uh, in the battle. Okay, I'm, I'm taking this from you, Stephanie, just for a moment. Because I need some equipment. This also gives damage? That's so crazy. It gives you physical damage. Look at that. I have seven now. That's insane. Okay, and then I can remove the spike boots. I'm probably gonna go power gauntlets, to be honest. Especially as a squire. Um, I do eventually want to make him a knight again. And then move on to monk. Because I believe there are some monk abilities that would be really useful for him. I am surprised by how useful chemists are. Like, I don't remember chemists being this good. But then, like, when I used to play for fun, I would just over-level, you know? I would just grind my way through. Um, okay. Matilda can switch from Archer back to Thief. Oh, Dragoon! We unlock Dragoon! A warrior who may make soaring jump attacks, even in full armor. The Dragoon is also a master spearman. Hell yeah. Thief level 4. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. That's a high level. It's a high job level. And then... Archer. Don't really care. Thief. I'm just a little short from Steel Helmet. Which kind of sucks. But it's okay. I'm more interested in Steel Armor. I think. Alright. That should be it. Actually, this might just be a story. Who knows? Just like with Egros Castle. Sometimes you just get the... You just get a... Story bits at the castle, that's it. Alright. Here we go. Oh. What errand brings you to Lionel? Lionel Guardsman. I am Agrius Oaks, a knight of the Lion's Guard. My companions and I have journeyed from Orbone Monastery. Orbon? Orbone? Orbon? I don't know. By the grace of Saint Ajora, I beg you, lay open your gate. The graces of Saint Ajora are in the keeping of his eminence here. All who seek those graces are given like treatment. The gates of Lionel stand upon them. Or open to them. My bad. <laughs> Raise the gates. Did you have to, like, go through all that... I don't know, mumbo jumbo, like. Just let me in, dude. Ah, Cardinal Delacroix. I see, Lady Agnes. In such circumstances, this I am fain to lend you whatever help I can. I shall dispatch a courier to Milond at once. What is Milond? High Confessor Marcel will have this news from my own hand. Okay, I guess that's where that guy lives, Marcel. We will expose Duke Larg's misdeeds and ensure that no harm befall you, Princess. Your Eminence, think you the High Confessor will hear our plea? Fear not, dear lady, you are in my care now. Princess Ovelia can scarce feel at ease while those tasked with her safety are vexed with such worriment. You may enjoy the comforts of the castle, wanting though they are, while we await a reply from Milond. You are most gracious, Eminence. Thank you. 
So long as Saint Ajora is our guide, we have naught to fear, child. As for you, my young machinist, I've given consideration to your troubles as well. I will send a hand-picked company of my finest men to Gog to put an end to this Barrett trading company. Wait, why would a cardinal... Are cardinals religious by nature? I don't know. Or is he just... He's just... Is he like the equivalent of a duke? You know, he's just, uh, he's just a noble dude that owns like a big plots of land. Conditioned upon this, I would hear the reason they choose to pursue you and your father. That is... I mean to say it's not... Come, come, mayhap this will give voice to your words. Crystal? You are familiar with the legend of the Zodiac Braves? In my youth, I often heard a fanciful tale of that name at Mass. What's this? Surely, Lady Agrius, you do not aver that the church would mislead its flock. No, no, of course not, Your Eminence. Damn, this guy is such a... There should be like a, like a, you know those like angry vein things that they put on people's forehead? That's what this should be. This guy is such a little... Is that, is that gaslighting? I don't know. <laughs> Long ago before the mountains had ceased their wandering and struck their roots into the earth, the Lucivi held dominion over the world. Twelve heroes there were who came forward to challenge these Lucivi. In a long and bitter struggle, he succeeded in driving the Lucivi to the spirit world, and Ivelisse again knew peace. Some of these words. The twelve each bore an orosite crystal, emblazoned with a house of the night sky. That sounds pretty cool. And so in time, they became known as the Zodiac Braves. Even after, when discord and strife paid visit to the halls of men, they would return to save us once more. You've clearly been a most apt pupil, princess. Elder Simon himself instructed me at Orbone. Orbon. I really have no... I wish they would just give you a pronunciation somewhere. Orbon. Which reminds me of another thing he said. Saint Ajora walked with the Twelve, and together they saved Ivelisse from ruin. Saint Ajora and the Twelve Zodiac Rays. We call the Crystals of the Twelve the Zodiac Stones. The stone you see before you now is a stone from that very legend. Oh, ting! <laughs> I love that. Orosite, it exists? I did not think it possible. Or that it held the sacred power to keep the Lucivia at bay, eh? I confess, I feel some power deep within. But my eyes see only a common crystal. Mustadio, are you well? The colors left your face. Mmm. You've seen a stone like this one beneath Gaug, have you not? Machines whose fires have long since guttered out lie strewn in the tunnels beneath the city. But pass that stone near them, and you can hear them stir. Whoa. Then Barrett seeks the Orosite, eh? I do not know what power these Zodiac stones hold. I know only that Ludovic Barrett hopes to find some way to harness this power and make a fearsome weapon. Dude, revisiting this game at a much older age, like, you start to see things, and also the fact that I've, like, beat the game before, you start to see things that you didn't see before as a kid. Very interesting. My father would not give them the stone, so they took him instead. Put your worries from your mind, my young machinist. The church will see this matter is dealt with. Our forces will strike and wrest the stone from their hands. Of, of course, your eminence. The church. So he is involved with the church. Okay. I will join the company that makes for Gaug. Thank you, Ramza. We would never have succeeded in reaching his eminence, the cardinal, without you, Ramza. You have my thanks as well. 
I can only wish you well. Small aid, I know. Your words are all the aid I could ever ask. Dang, Ramza. Okay. Such a gentleman. Oh my goodness. We got another... Bro, how am I supposed to say this word? <laughs> Chigalith. To Chigalith? Fenlands. Yeah. Totally. Okay. I guess this is gonna be a uh, more of like a story episode. Um, I'll probably do the fight. I'm sure it'll be quick. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a mo random monster. Or it's a not random, but it's a monster fight. So let's check out the tavern. We'll see what's going on, and then the outfitters, and then we'll uh, we'll hit up this battle. All right. All right. Rumors. Whoa, that's a lot of rumors. We've read these. The Legend of the Zodiac Braves. Oh, this is a really cool story. If you've not read this, you should. You should. Yeah, Seven Kingdoms. Okay, I'll just flip through it for you guys. And then the Zodiac Stones. Let's see what the Bear Trading Company has. Dang. The Bear Trading Company. High highs, but also super low lows. I guess they gotta do all these, like, my little carrot. I guess they gotta do all these, like, uh, super nice charity work just to stay in good graces. Alright. Oh, baby. Coral swords. Okay, I got about 20k. Giant's axe. That sounds cool. An axe with a large head. Much bigger than a traditional woodsman's axe. What's its name? You don't say. Let's check out this coral sword. The handle of this single-edged sword has been decorated with intricate coral piecework. Oh, it has a lightning element. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, golden shields. I'm buying a couple of those. Those are hella good. Golden helmet? Buy a couple of those too. Heck yeah. Golden armor? Dude, I'm going all out. Rubber boots. I don't have enough kill. Damn it. These resin boots conform perfectly to the shape of a wearer's feet, negating lightning-based magic damage. Immune to mobilize. Okay. Protect ring. What do you do? Immune to sleep and doom. Alright. Guardian bracelet. Immune to immobilize and disable. Very nice. Alright. Plus one magic attack. No wonder it's the mage's cloak. Okay, we got some Phoenix Downs, some high potions, we're good on those potions. Okay. Ooh, this would minus two oh minus one, minus one. Minus one damage. Because of the headgear. I mean uh because it's replacing the power gauntlets. Let's see golden helmet. Is it worth it to have 200 HP? I think I'm gonna switch Ramza from Squire now into Knight class. Okay. And then take the power gauntlets. If I go with head oh I can't wear the headgear now. Cause I'm not a squire. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Let's move on. Okay, we're gonna trick out Lambert as well. Where's the gold shield? There it is. Gold shield. Screw the plate mail. Get yourself some golden armor. Sick. Alright. That's good. 
That's good. I can give you back your head gear. Sweet. Alright, we're pretty much set here. I don't think we really need to do anything else ability-wise. So just get on over with this fight. Four remaining. Lambert. I'm gonna bring Boko on this one. I'm gonna bring Atilda because I need her to learn Steel Helmet if she can. And Wyman. Yeah, I need her to learn Steel Helmet. And uh, if I can, Steel Armor instead. But I'll settle for Steel Helmet. Oh. Oh my. Just when I thought this fen could grow no fowler. Solid footing scarce enough, and rain to rob us of that. Be careful. Yeah, this is a tough map. Cause you really gotta you really need to read the environment. Cause some these oh, these marshlands are so bad. Jesus, look at that guy's name, my god. Decalos? Pauline? Ah, oh, crap. I wanna see this guy's name. Look at this. Aegyptos. Aegyptos, my bad. That's some crazy names, man. Okay, these ghosts we've seen, they can teleport. So, we might not need to push that hard on them. If anything, let's move back so they, they teleport in front of us on, like, land. That would be helpful. Lambert, I can move you up. You fell from my trap! That was accidental. Nice. 30 job points, pretty good. Alright, our first time using the Chocobo. Go get him, Boko. Choco Beak! Attack! Fantastic. Okay. Let's let these guys come towards us. I don't really want to mess with them too much. Or mess around with them too much. Nice! Going according to plan. 15 damage isn't bad. Look at this Malboro, dude. I hate these things. In every Final Fantasy game, these things just destroy you. Wait, you just walked through the swamp. No... What? It poisoned him. <gasps> His soul has been sealed in stone. Okay, I can get behind him. Nice. Get him! 35, that's good. I just got 30 job points off of that, too. Okay, put it on his side. That way, Ramza can actually attack him. Hey, you're in the way, dude. You know what? Let's do this. Mount Chocobo. Heck yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> See, this is this is what this game was made for. Mounting Chocobos and riding them into battle. So cool. Okay, he's just taking a shit ton of damage. For like no reason. I'm really scared of this guy, so I'm just gonna, you know, relax. Do I want to go back? They might need some help. Hmm. No, I'm gonna stay here. 
Let this guy come to me. And then... Let's move up a little bit. I think I can get them both here. Let's make it quick, huh? Nice. Decalos is moving forward. Get a nice Thundaga off. Ooh. Oh my god, I might just, uh... I might just end this in, like, less than three minutes. Okay, move. Over here. Get behind him. Yeah. See, Boko can walk in the swamps. And be totally fine. 88 damage? Oh my god, this game is too good to me. Take one of these. 30 damage. 31 job points, I'll take it. That is fantastic. Oh, he just died in the poison. Alright. Alright, well that's gay. <laughs> that's gay. Mustadio, are you hurt? He's fine, why are you freaking out? No worse for the wear. The channel shore lies just beyond the fen. Gaug is not far now. I think, uh... I remember this battle being way harder. But I think if you kind of know what you're doing, and like, how to play the map, it's actually really easy. It's actually a really easy battle. Alright, that's gonna be it. Um, in the next one... We're going to go to the clockwork city of Gog. Gaug. Gog. I'm going to go with Gog. Let's check out this Fenlands. Countless people died here during the Fifty Years' War, changing this once fertile plain into a poisonous fen. That's crazy. That makes so much sense, because it's like... Like, here's the city of Gog, right? You cross this... Here's a bridge, because you got this river, and maybe not a river, but like, you know. It separates this thing into its own little island. Cross the bridge, you have a fight here, you got Lionel Castle, you have right in the middle. That's so cool, man. It's so well designed. The, the world of Final Fantasy Tactics is just so well designed. Alright, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy Tactics as much as I enjoy playing it. I will see you in the next one. Peace.